And the weather does look a bit ominous right now out at Pimlico Racecourse as the staff prepare for the venue's biggest day of the year. You're looking at a live picture from our infield camera. Yeah, but a lot of us are wondering how this impending rain could affect Black Eyed Susan Day festivities tomorrow. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us live from Pimlico with an update there. Lowell. Good afternoon, or I should say good evening. Yeah, I've been uh, looking at some of the latest models coming from the National Weather Service, and it really looks like the heaviest rains right now will get overnight and into the late morning hours tomorrow, finally dwindling off in the afternoon hours. So it really could make for a messy Black Eyed Susan Day here tomorrow. Officials are telling me the show will go on, but it's going to be a sloppy one. As preparations continue Thursday for Black Eyed Susan Day, there is a storm brewing that could bring with it up to four inches of rain to the greater Baltimore area, like we saw a couple of weeks ago. What we're hearing is we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain. I'm hoping everybody's wrong, but I don't think they are. <laughs> Director of Racing for the Maryland Jockey Club, Georgianne Hale, told 11 News that she's been in meetings all day discussing what might and might not happen on Friday. One problem, there are six turf races scheduled, so if it's too soft, those races will be moved to the dirt, which means there could be a lot of scratches. With the horses, you have to worry about soft and uneven. You know, if they're racing and they hit an uneven, really soft spot, that's very dangerous. There's also the possibility that the winners of Friday's races will receive their glory in the winner's circle trackside rather than the cupola on the turf. As far as the dirt track is concerned, it will be sealed Thursday night, meaning the dirt will be packed down tight so the rain runs off. They, you know, squeeze it so it's hard and, and squeeze all the moisture out of it, and then the rain that hits it won't, doesn't really get into it. It runs off. As far as any cancellations, anything not under a tent is in jeopardy Friday. Race goers will be allowed to bring umbrellas, which is new, both Friday and Saturday. And speaking of Saturday, there is a chance for mud everywhere, especially in the infield. But as Hale points out, that may not be such a big problem. The people in the infield on, on Saturday usually ha like to have mud, you know, mud wrestling and stuff. So they might, we might be seeing a lot of that. Isn't that the truth? Believe me, we have the video to prove it. So just a reminder, you're allowed to bring your umbrella out here tomorrow and for the Preakness. One final note, if you're looking for a good betting tip, I'm told to look for horses that run well on a sloppy or muddy track, and you just might be able to land yourself a long shot. We're live at Pemlico tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.